Hi everybody and welcome to this new video. Today I will show you an integration between Unity 3D and Amazon Bedrock. But first of all, let me give you a hint of context. Amazon decided to enter massively into the generative AI field and invested in the company Anthropic for 4 billion US dollars in order to compete with popular AI services like like ChatGPT, DALI, Midjourney, etc. That's huge. Days ago, Amazon announced the release of Bedrock, a fully managed AI service that offers multiple foundational models such as Cloud, Jurassic and Stable Diffusion, among others. In my previous video, I created the Unity 3 application communicating with ChatGPT and DALI. In this video, I will do the same with Bedrock. This is the general architecture of our application. We use three Amazon services. API Gateway to create, expose and consume endpoints from Unity. Lambda to receive the client request and communicate with Bedrock and Bedrock to generate answers based on the client's prompt. This is a very basic architecture. If you want to get further adding a login mechanism with Cognito, please refer to my previous video and articles. Let's start with Bedrock and go to the Bedrock console. What we have to do first is activate the models we are going to use because by default all the models are disabled. Let's go to the model access section. Here you can ask Amazon for access the model you want, text or image. If you have a valid payment method in your account settings, enabling the model should take a couple of minutes. Then let's go to the Lambda console. I'm a Python guy, so I will create functions in Python. The good news is that Bottle 3, the official Python SDK for AWS, is now supporting Bedrock. The bad news is that Lambda is running an old version of Bottle 3 where Bedrock does not exist yet. I hope that in a few months uh, what I'm talking about will be outdated and you could use Boto3 directly in Lambda. For now, a workaround to this problem is creating a new Lambda layer with an up-to-date version of Boto3 and associating the layer to the function. There are many ways to do it. In this video, I will show you how to do it easily with PyCharm. In your local machine, open PyCharm and create a new Python project. I highly recommend you use a new and clean virtual environment. In my case, I will use version 3.9 of Python because this is the last version I have installed on my local machine. In the new project created, we open the terminal and first we upgrade pip, the package manager for Python. pip install upgrade pip. And then we install Boto3. pip install Boto3. Boto3 is now installed in the virtual environment. If you click on external libraries and site packages, you can see Boto3 and all its dependencies. Now right click on site packages and click on open in finder. Go to the root of the project and create a folder name Python. Past into it the lib folder on your project. And zip the folder. We have a zip file of 19 megs, that's perfect. 
Now come back to the Lambda console, click on the layers section and create a new layer. We give a cool name and we upload the zip file we have just created. For the runtime, choose the same version of Python you are using in your virtual environment. In my case, Python 3.9. Our layer is ready to be used. Regarding the Lambda functions, I created two functions, one for text generation with cloud and the other one for image generation with stable diffusion. Let's quickly check the function for text generation. Don't worry about the code, don't pause the video, you can find everything you need in the description of this video. First, we add the layer we have just created to the function. The embedded Boto3 library will be overridden by our layer. What I'm doing in this function is creating a bedrock client, invoking the model with the user prompt and returning the result. Something important here, our Lambda function is trying to access another Amazon resource bedrock. Therefore, we need to give the Lambda function explicit access to bedrock through a policy. Someone in the comments told me that my videos usually lack explanation about policies and that's right. I will do it in this video. Each time you create a Lambda function, a new role is automatically created and associated with the function. In a nutshell, a role is an identity with specific permission. We go to the configuration section, permission, and click on the role. By default, the role already contains permission related to CloudWatch and we need to add the permissions for Bedrock. To do so, we have the choice between creating an inline policy or attaching a managed policy. An inline policy is a policy used for a single identity, meaning you can use it for only for this role. A managed policy is a standalone policy, meaning that you could reuse it in other opportunities. For this video, I have created two Lambda functions with exactly the same permissions. Therefore, we will create a managed policy. In the IAM console, we go to the policies section and click on create policy. IAM policies are written in JSON, so you can directly write in JSON or use a visual editor. If you are a beginner, I recommend you use a visual editor. It's much more simple. In the list of services, we choose Bedrock and we check the invoke model permission. For this video, we keep it simple and we give access to all the bedrock models. We give a cool name and we create the policy. Now we come back to the Lambda function role and we attach the policy we have just created. Okay, Lambda is ready. Let's go now to the API Gateway console. In the API Gateway console, we build a new REST API. We give a cool name and we create the API. 
we have two lambda functions for text and image generation so we create two resources text and image for each resource we add a post method and we integrate with the related lambda function then we deploy the api when deploying the api we you will be asked to create a new stage for example prod this url is the url of your api and you will need it in your unity clients let's go to unity again don't worry about the code i will give you the unity package of this application in the description of this video in unity we need to perform a post request and consume the endpoints we have just created with api gateway this can be done thanks to the unity web request class and specifying the URL of our endpoint. Performing a request with Unity is an asynchronous process, which means we need to use the Unity web request class inside a coroutine. Now let's try our application. I have created a very simple chat with Unity UI components that allows showing text and images. I run the application and I will first try the text generation sending a kind message. Hi, how are you today? And Claude answered me, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. That's worked perfectly. Let's now try the image generation with a cool prompt. A big green dog playing poker with friends. And we receive an amazing image. Now let's speak about the costs. We have this scenario, 100 text generations and 100 image generations per month. Remember that we are using three Amazon services, Lambda, API Gateway and Bedrock. We can estimate the cost of Lambda and API Gateway with the AWS calculator. we choose API Gateway and we indicate that we have 2,000 requests per month. Total cost, one cent. We do the same for Lambda. with five seconds for an average duration total cost eight cents now let's go to the bedrock pricing sheet the pricing of the text generation with the cloud model is based on a token mechanism. If you remember, for the text generation, we have defined a maximum of 300 output tokens, which represent approximately 180 words. 
For the input, our application, our application is a chat. So we define an average of 20 input token by request. The image generation pricing, it is more straightforward because this is a cost by per image. So in the worst case, our application will cost approximately $28 per month. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching this video until the end. I really hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social networks. See you in the next video.